Worldwide, around 50 million people have dementia. How do you know if your loved one is suffering from this disease? My next guest is Leanne Allman. She is the owner and elder care advisors for assisted living locators. More importantly, she is a certified dementia care specialist and accredited certified senior advisor. Welcome Leanne Allman to the show. Hi Leanne. Thank you very much. That. Thanks so much for your time. That is a question that, that a lot of Americans, a lot of people in the LA are asking. How do you know if your mom or your, your loved one has dementia? Uh, it's difficult uh, to know really specifically if she has it. Uh, in the beginning, we just start making minor adjustments because maybe she forgot um, a birthday or she forgot uh, where the remote control is, where the keys are, or an appointment. But small little things, nothing big, and we often will look at it and say, ah, eh, that's just part of aging. Mm. To a point, yes, that's part of aging. But for the most part, you really do need to go through the doctors. And, and do they run several tests? I mean, what are, what are the process that doctors go through uh, to making to making that determination. Uh, unfortunately, um, their uh, general practice doctors hmm. may or may not do a real in-depth test. Uh, in fact, most of our parents are able to pass the initial test real easy because uh, they only need to be cued in to things for about 10, 20 minutes. And most of us can maintain a conversation for 10, 20 minutes. Mm. Uh, so then they walk away and the doctor uh, tells, tells the daughter, tells the husband, nah, she's great. And you're looking at him going, are you kidding me? She's up at, at uh, five o'clock in the afternoon trying to pack up all of her clothes because we're checking out of the hotel. Mm. That's not normal. But she performed well at the doctor's office. Yeah, so no, it, it, it's quite difficult. No, it does seem to be. I mean, I, I, I personally am, am experiencing uh, this with my own uh, aging, aging mom. Um, you know, is it just, uh, you know, our memories, the older we get. I mean, I don't remember things the way I did in my, in my 30s, 20s, you know. Uh, but there is a difference, right? A difference between, you know, forgetting something and, and what we're talking about here today. Absolutely. Um, when we're dealing with normal aging, our file cabinets are filling up and getting bigger and bigger and more and more full. So if you give your mom an extra 30 seconds to answer a question, she's got to go into those file cabinets, go out, retrieve the information and bring it back. And she can answer your question. Most of us don't give mom the time required to respond. Hmm. Now, if mom goes back, but doesn't go back to retrieve information, starts going back in time. So now we're, we're starting to have issues. Hmm. Now you may be referred to as her sister and you're her daughter, or mom and her mother had problems and suddenly your mom is treating you, the daughter, the caregiver, as if you are her mom and she's an adolescent. Wow. So now we've got fights going on and you're looking at her going, what did I do? You did mm -hmm. nothing. You simply triggered an emotion or a memory Leanne. that he is now in that time, not now. Leanne, what a great way to kind of just unpack that and describe it because, wow, you just, it just makes sense to me, right? There's a difference between mom takes an extra 30 seconds, still answers a question, and now mom's confused as to who you are. Um, so if you're at that point where you have a loved one uh, that is dealing with this disease, what are some tips for the family on how they can love on mom and make sure that she's getting the care she needs? Uh, absolutely. It's simple, but it's not simple. Mm -hmm. 
you really have to take mom where she's at right now. If mom has spent her entire adult life making Thanksgiving dinner, all hundred recipes without a recipe card, but now she's mixing up salt and sugar, Mm -hmm. you can't expect her to continue to do Thanksgiving dinner. You're going to be frustrated. She's going to be frustrated. You're going to have uh, anxiety, tension. Ask her to part of the making the pot, but you're doing the ingredients. So meet her where she is at. Uh, and that is a very difficult thing for most of us to do is step back in time with mom. Hmm. We truly have to jump down her rabbit hole with her. Leanne, it's, it can be incredibly exhausting. There might be someone watching that is um, they've been dealing with this for a long time and, and maybe they, they really relate to the things you're talking about. But how often do you see where the caregiver is not taking time to care for themselves? Is that a problem you see? It's a huge problem. Hmm. Um, often the caregiver, uh, let's say it's daughter number two uh, of four and the other family members are spread out throughout the U.S., and daughter number two is going, mom's having problems. Mom's having this going on and that going on. And the other family members are going, I just talked to her last night. She's great. Well, again, mom can hold it together for 20, 30 minutes. But you're dealing with her on the day to day. So the stress levels start rising for that caregiver. Uh, she's not getting or he's not getting the support from within the family. And often they're embarrassed about uh, what mom or dad may be doing because it sounds so horrible, so so horrific uh, and so embarrassing, Hmm. they won't share it. So they start Hmm. isolating themselves. And now the caregivers and emotionally at risk of it, it heightens their potential for Alzheimer's. It also heightens their uh, uh, potential of, of getting uh, severely high blood pressure. I've seen caregivers find themselves in the hospital and mom's still at home going, what? <laughs> so, hmm. yeah, uh, the caregivers really have to take care of themselves. Uh, and there are techniques, there's ways to do it, but you really have to seek it out. Leanne, it sounds like a lot of things to kind of walk through and think about. So how can somebody, we got about a minute left, how can somebody um, who maybe they suspect and perhaps they're not, you know, local, right? Sometimes uh, mom and dad are, are in another city and, uh, and maybe they're that, you know, they only see mom for that 20 minute phone call. But what are, how can they get a hold of you if they have more questions and they want to kind of talk about um, some options? Absolutely. They can call me directly at uh, 626-966-7111 or you can go on to my uh, website, uh, leeannalman.com, shoot me a note, we'll get it, we'll contact you. Uh, In this age of Zoom, we can do a whole lot more interacting, a whole lot more counseling and consulting. Uh, You don't have to be sitting in front of me at my desk. Uh, So we we can walk you through how the caregiver can support mom and support themselves and we can do it together. Wow, that sounds great. Uh, That's Leanne Allman, the owner and elder care advisor of Assistant Living Locators. Leanne, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you very much. You're watching uh, All In with Brian Weatherford, Scott Miller sitting in, this is Biz TV LA. We'll have more coming up right after this.